kind of work that you put in. You know, you're almost like legendary for the practice that you put in. Um, you know, so when something like the rim changes, you probably noticed before anybody, right? Yeah, I could tell. When first layups and warm-ups, I, I could tell it was different. Just the way the ball hit the rim, it just seemed Yeah, different. it just comes out different for rebounds and shots. So for the first time in a few games, in my opinion, uh, you faced a man-to-man -man defense. You know, Columbus State plays a kind of a matchup zone. I know a couple games ago, Young Harris played zone all. But today, man-to-man, -man, how do you feel when you get a one-on-one -on -one look on offense? I mean, it's easier for me because then I can draw help. And if they don't help, it just I can score. Yeah. And I think it's easier. And we play better against man, but we got to work on against zone too. When you say you can score against one guy, I agree. I, I would call you almost unstoppable against one guy. What's it on your mind when you get a guy on your back and you've got one-on-one -on -one in the post? I usually uh, wait for him. So I give one dribble, and I see if he's going to jump on my left side or my right side. And then I try to go opposite wherever he's going. Or if I pick up my dribble, someone helps. I just wait a little bit, and I wait where he's going to jump, and I just go opposite. So you take what the defense gives you. Yeah, that's what you should do. Yeah. And it takes a lot of hard work to be able to do that because if he jumps on your right side, you got to be able to go left. Yeah, you got to have both hands to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, um, great game here today. I think you're having an outstanding senior season. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Okay. It was four points in the game for Anthony Torelli, one point for Robert Barloon, two points for Abram Gladney. And that completes the 84 points scored by Augusta. Sent from the line, 8 of 16. They had seven assists, 12 turnovers, one block shot, and five steals. For Augusta, the shooting was 34 of 61, 55.7%. They shot 20 of 33 in the second half. That's 60.6%. And then from three-point land, eight of 16, 50%. And from uh, the free throw line, eight of 13, 61.5%. Augusta. Had 13 points off turnovers compared to 10 for North Georgia. North Georgia had the advantage in second chance points, 8 to 4. Augusta's largest lead in the ball game was 29, and they prevailed by 25 here tonight. So as we mentioned in action, and they'll return home on February the 1st as we'll prepare for the opportunity to see the Jaguars again. But until then, of course, the Jaguars will be on the road. Those of you that like, you can check out the link and get all the details at 1.30 for the women and 3.30 for the men this Saturday. 58, Augusta victorious for their 11th time this year. They're 6-3 and three in Peach Belt Conference play. And see Aiken that everyone's looking forward to and currently in second place in the conference could set up a memorable meeting when those two teams get together. The Nighthawks, they fall to 8-9 and nine overall, 3-6 and six in Peach Belt Conference play partner Chad Cook for Rafael Montero our player of the game and for the entire SUV TV family I'm the Mac Daddy Charles McNeil saying good night and God bless everyone